Hey guys, Steve Welch here, Beeman Toyota in Nashville. I have some big news for you, especially those of you who are very upset that Toyota discontinued the Avalon. There's something better coming, guys. The Toyota crown is on its way. Uh, this thing is going to be amazing. Using the Hybrid Max, this thing is going to be a game changer for the sedan out there. And, and this thing, it, it looks like it's going to be something that's all its own. I think you guys are going to be really excited about it. I'm going to show you my screen here, and I'm going to go over everything that Toyota is talking about when it comes to the new Toyota crown. And I think you guys are going to be really excited. So I'm going to take you to my screen right now. So here we go, guys. Toyota Crown returns to the U.S. with bold style and a new Hybrid Max powertrain. Take a look at this car here, guys. This thing is gorgeous, all right? So um, like I said, those of you that were upset the Avalon went out, you have a replacement. This thing is going to be something you will want in your driveway. Uh, just look at the, I mean, this thing is gorgeous. Um, this one looks like it's got a black hood. I mean, there's just, this thing is something that will turn heads. It's about time that we have just a car this sexy. So um, I think you guys are going to really like this. So we're going to kind of go over some of what uh, what's going on with this car to give you guys some information about what Toyota is coming out with. And I think you guys will be excited, like I just said. So um, with a with a striking debut, Toyota is reimagining the full-size sedan with the all-new 23 Toyota Crown. Um, keep in mind, this is at a time where all those other manufacturers went, we're not making cars anymore. Uh, I think we still love cars. So let's, let's keep going here, but uh, you guys can tell me in the comments if, uh, if you guys think the same way. So um, built to deliver an intuitive, intuitive driving experience, this new premium sedan brings powerful acceleration and a confident and confident handling along with supreme comfort for a sophisticated ride all wrapped in a bold new design it's also the first toyota sedan to offer the hybrid max system toyota's performance hybrid that uh, with the power that drivers will feel by the way notice that it says the first toyota sedan first usually means that there will be a second just mentioning so anyway um, so it's available in three grades, XLE, Limited, and Platinum, right? So um, that's right here. So the Crown will offer the choice of two different hybrid powertrains, which means it will be all hybrid, but two different hybrids, the Hybrid Max or the fourth generation Toyota hybrid system. The Hybrid Max powertrain exclusive to the Platinum. So you've got to be on the top level, which will be the Platinum level, um, is Toyota's all new performance hybrid that puts out a manufacturer's estimated listen to this guys 340 net horsepower that's right there guys 340 net horsepower um that is wow you guys i mean that it's a sports car guys right so paired with a 2.4 liter turbocharged engine uh, and a direct shift six speed automatic transmission the hybrid max produces powerful torque at low rpm for exhilarating driving and um, has a manufacturer's estimated uh 28 miles per gallon combined city highway of course um which is that's going to be kind of what's replacing your six cylinder right so the six cylinder in the avalon it was kind of the you know the um it had the lesser fuel economy um but keep listening here guys so the xle and the limited grades are equipped with the, the Toyota hybrid system, a highly efficient hybrid system with a newly developed high output bipolar nickel metal hydride battery that can achieve a manufacturer's estimated 38 miles per gallon combined city highway rating. All right, so you can get 28 miles per gallon with the extra power, or you can get 38 miles per gallon. And I mean, this is this is like Camry numbers, guys. So you're, I mean, it's going to be a bigger car, and you're going to be able to still get the higher level of the miles per gallon. So built on a newly developed chassis based on Toyota's GAK K platform, Crown has raised the overall. Sorry. Crown has a raised overall height that is nearly four inches higher than Camry. 
The unique height of the sedan offers increased road visibility along with easy entry and exit. So if you have back problems, knee problems, leg problems, you're not getting down into this car. So um, it's something that a lot of times people go to SUVs for to get something a little higher off the ground, even though maybe they don't quite want an SUV, but that's what they need to get off the ground. Now you have another option and you're not gonna have to give up the, you know, the fuel economy or power or anything else in order to get that. So um, that is gonna be a game changer. I, I know I'm gonna say game changer a lot here, but this car is a game changer. So, um, but it's flowing silhouette and sculpted body lines create a fresh look that's entirely unique for its class. Um, uh, altogether, the crown pack is a crown package is a combination of innovative style, performance, and function. All right, so now we're gonna go into the grades here a little bit. So your XLE grade will have the 2.5 liter uh, regular hybrid system, all wheel drive. All right, so you see there's not a option for front wheel drive. There are gonna be all wheel drive, right? So three selectable drive modes that should be uh, either Eco Sport and Normal or it'll be EV uh, Sport and Normal, but it's usually Eco Sport and Normal. Um, so 19 inch alloy wheels, heated and power powered woven woven fabric front seats and our all new Toyota multimedia system with the 12.3 inch touchscreen and six speakers. So the 12.3 inch touchscreen is, you know, that's you've been on like your limited, your platinum Highlander. It's been on your Venza. That's only on the upper ends. This is the base level is going to have the 12.3 screen. So, and I believe they're going to do it the upgraded way, which is how they're doing the new Highlander. Um, and there's going to be some enhancements on that, but we'll keep going here to kind of talk about that here in a bit. All right. So, it's going to have six speakers available in five colors, black, oxygen white, magnetic gray metallic, heavy metal, supersonic red, and notice here, so with a black interior. So that tells me that you're only going to be able to get the black interior and the XLE. So that's something to know. All right. So um, the limited grade. That's down here, limited grades. So you can kind of follow along as we're talking here. Also comes equipped with all the XLE features and adds multi-beam LED headlights, a fixed panoramic roof. So what's it, what does that mean when it says a fixed panoramic roof? A fixed panoramic roof means that it is a sunroof that will not open. So um, that should be a front and back roof. you be able to look straight out the top, but it's not going to open. All right. So um, it's also going to have leather seats that are heated and ventilated up front and heated in the rear. See this guy? So you're gonna have heated seats for the rear for those passengers. Sometimes, some people don't care about the passengers in the back. You can show you care, get this car and you can heat them up in the back. Still not getting ventilated, but you know, have the one you like the most up in the front. So um, 11 speaker JBL system, um, rain sensing windshield wipers, intelligent clearance sonar with the rear cross traffic braking. Um, so it can break if you're about to back into something. Um, there's also an available advanced technology package that adds dark metallic 21 inch 10 spoke alloy wheels, a bird's eye view camera, and a digital key with remote connect system. This is something else that is new guys, a digital key. I believe that's where you're going to use your phone in order to start your car. Um, this is actually going to be really cool too. I am excited to see how that works. Um, and, uh, we'll kind of go from there to, but I believe that's what that's going to mean. So, um, keep in mind as I go through this, I'm giving you some of my knowledge with it. I'm giving you some of what I think it's going to be. And, um, and this is realistically, I mean, I'm, I'm giving you that information. Some of it might be clarified later, but, uh, we'll kind of uh, go along with this together and, um, hopefully you guys appreciate the way I do this. So, um, interior colors on this one says includes black, black and chestnut and macadamia. So you're going to get a black and then you're going to have like an inlay, I'm guessing with the chestnut in the middle. So you'll have a black with the dark brown and then macadamia will be a lighter brown color. Um, the platinum grade. All right. So we're the next level. This is the platinum right here. Platinum grade includes everything on both of the ones below. So your uh, panoramic roof is going to be on this one too. Um, and it raises the bar with the hybrid max right here, guys, powertrain, adapted variable suspension, six selectable drive modes, um, advanced park and unique 21 inch machined 10 spoke alloy wheels with black accents, 
The color palette adds a Toyota First bi-tone paint option with black paint that extends from the hood to the trunk that can be paired with the oxygen white, the heavy metal, supersonic red, or an all-new bi-tone only bronze age color. So the first picture that we saw here, just and I'll scroll back up, this right here, you can see this is the hood, the black hood, and then the black roof. It's going to be carried all the way through. That is that, what we were just talking about there. So the, the where it talks about the um, bi-tone paint option right there. Um, and black paint extends to the hood. So um, bronze age color. Yeah, I'll be excited to see what that is too. Um, Toyota's doing a lot of stuff with this bronze color. So um, we'll see how that uh, translates over and see what you guys think about it. So um, each grade of the crown will come with Toyota's new, new audio multimedia system and Toyota Safety Sense 3.0. That's the latest Safety Sense. So, um, and it's all going to be standard. And it says it'll arrive in the dealerships later this year, right? So here's another view here. So um, this one obviously doesn't have the bi-tone. So we're looking most likely on here. This is probably the XLE, it looks like to me. All right. So um, obviously I haven't seen one in person yet, but that's what I'm thinking. So um, just really nice looking car. So um, you can kind of look here at the, at the history, of course. It debuted in 55 as Toyota Pet Crown. Um, it was the first, Toyota's first mass-produced passenger vehicle. Um, the Crown came to civilized innovation. So you guys can kind of take a look here, you know, uh, if you want to pause the video. I don't really want to go through a lot of the history. I'm going, you know, um, going to try to get through this a little bit quicker. So um, I understand that you guys, uh, you know, tell me I talk a lot. So, um, but that's all for you. So hopefully you appreciate that. So, um the result, now this one down here, so it's a completely new Toyota Crown that throws off conventional concepts of a sedan and takes it into the new era. Design choices push the limits with a large diameter wheel that gives the car a powerful style and a raised hip point for ease of ingress and egress, getting in and getting out. That's your translation there, guys. Um, and meticulous attention to detail on the inside for a comfortable home away from home innovation. Um, it's like sitting on your couch, apparently. Um, innovation is engineered into the crown with the two different power, uh, hybrid powertrains, um, hybrid max responsive acceleration, and the Toyota hybrid system for great fuel economy. By the way, I bet you this hybrid max, your zero to 60 time is going to be crazy on that. So um, so it's two hybrid systems, two winning choices. All right. So hybrid synonymous for more than 20 years. Of course, Toyota started with the Prius, and, and they got it right when they started with the Prius, and it's just done nothing but got better since then. Um, and anybody that talks hybrid knows that Toyota is the authority on hybrids. There's, I don't think there's anybody that would question that. All right. So, um, the crown brings the number of electrified Toyota vehicles to 16. That's right there, guys, 16. Um, and it's another first for the sedans, the hybrid max system. It's systems designed to deliver smooth and powerful torque filled acceleration with keeping an eye on efficiency. So it combines the 2.4 liter inline four cylinder turbo engine um, tuned to hit peak torque between 2000 and 3000. You guys hear that? It's going to hit peak torque between 2000 and 3000 RPM. That is very, very low to hit peak torque. Normally you'll hit peak torque somewhere in the fives um it, it when in most engines so that is really really low on the uh um, rpms to be able to hit peak torque so um with a front electric motor it helps maximize torque production a rear wheel axle e-axle that's equipped with a high output water cooled electric motor uh, is combined with the hybrid engine to directly transmit force to all four wheels, ensuring a thrilling throttle response and linear acceleration throughout the power band. Keep in mind, guys, the hybrids always perform better because um, you know they, they move at the speed of light is what I say. So the energy moves through a cable faster than, you know, you can have a fuel pump move to fuel the engine, engine to the wheels and all that other stuff that has to do. So it's, it's always a more responsive when you have the hybrid. So if you haven't drove a hybrid, you don't know what you're missing with that. So um, now the fourth generation Toyota hybrid system in the crown 
combines a high efficiency 2.5 liter dual overhead cam four cylinder engine this by the way should be the same thing that's like in your rav4 hybrids your camry hybrids this should be the same engine um also your your highlanders of course should be the same engine that's in there um and paired with your hybrid of course so um, the gas engine employs very little valve timing um it's intelligent of course so it's, it's going to watch how you drive it's going to be able to help to uh, adjust itself for a lot of stuff as you drive so it's going to be uh, set to maximize both fuel consumption and power output of course so the features here we go normal eco and sport drive modes like i thought normal eco and sport drive modes so let's the uh uh, driver tailor the crown's performance to the, their personality of course sport mode improves and sharpens throttle response making the hybrid driving more fun eco makes it more eco and normal makes it well normal um but normal for a toyota hybrid remember that all right so the hybrid max is equipped in the platinum grades like we talked about um, which is not only includes normal eco and sport but adds three drive modes: sport plus mode that provides an emphasis on steering response flat cornering and a sense of stability comfort mode that provides a more supple drive and emphasizes passenger comfort and a custom mode that allows you to adjust it to how you want it to feel you gotta love that so you can create your own profile to make the car drive how you want it to which is really it's innovative right all right so the crown comes standard with the electronic on-demand all-wheel drive everything's all-wheel drive all right, the Exilion Limited come with a E4 all-wheel drive and the Platinum Grade comes with the E4 Advance. Two highly efficient systems that take maximum advantage of the hybrid's powertrain benefits instead of using a transfer case and a drive shaft to the rear wheels. The electronic on-demand all-wheel drive employs a separate rear-mounted electric motor to power the rear wheels when needed. By the way, that's not new. Toyota has done that on the hybrids for a while that are all-wheel drive. So just, just saying, that's not something that's uh, brand new that Toyota's doing. They've done that for a while. Um, the E4 all-wheel drive um, is, achieves stable performance by driving the wheel, rear wheels with a rear motor to provide traction when needed in slippery conditions. All right. The Toyota Crown uses the latest evolution of the system, strengthens, like I said, latest evolution. It's been around for a while. There you go. Strengthens the driving force of the rear motors compared to the conventional E4 enhancing stability when cornering the front and rear drive of uh, driving force distributions precisely controlled to the front and rear wheels between 100 to 0 100 to 0 meaning 100 percent will be on the front wheels when it's not engaging the all-wheel drive all right and then 20 to 80 which will put 20 percent on the front and 80 on the rear so basically this right here says that you can be between those two numbers between 100 and uh so all the way, let's put it this way, you can have 100% on the front or you can have 80% on the rear or anywhere in between. So you can be 50-50. If it notices rear needs a little bit more, you can be 60 in the back, 40 in the front. This right here means that 20% in the front and 80 in the back. If you do 20 in the front and 80 in the back, you're going to drive like a sports car that way. So this thing's going to be able to be customized, it looks like, for what you want it to do. And this thing should drive amazing. So... Um, but it ensures both enhanced fuel efficiency and your comfortable driving performance, right? So the E4 advanced all-wheel drive powered, or sorry, paired with the hybrid max on the platinum grade delivers power to the front and rear wheels vehicle via a, via a front mounted hybrid motor and rear wheels through a rear mounted e-axle electric motor. This system helps to ensure stable all-wheel drive performance and satisfying acceleration. Thanks to being paired with a direct shift six speed automatic transmission on the E4 advanced systems, the front and rear wheel drive force is precisely controlled. So this is on the hybrid max system, right? It's precisely controlled between 7030 and 2080. All right. So you're always going to be in some kind of an all wheel drive, but it looks like 70% to the front. 30 to the back and then you can go all the way with 20 to the front and 80 to the back so you're still going to have a variation there um, but i'm sure for efficiency is why the other one would go to 100 percent in the front just trying to uh, uh, get that extra efficiency this one's going to be geared more towards torque and performance so the rear motor which generates power power through water cooling um, which is really interesting i'm 
uh, anxious to see how this actually works. So generates power through water cooling, makes it power to makes it possible to maximize torque to the back wheels. This is going to be new. So um, this is not something I've heard about before, but uh, I'm definitely interested in knowing more. So the new all-wheel drive system enhances the drive force of the rear wheels um, to provide uh, the feel of rear wheel drive maneuverability, straight line stability, and comfortable turning. Um, and responsive acceleration. So the Crown offers either a direct shift six speed automatic transmission in the platinum grade or a electronically controlled CVT um, in the XLE and the Limited. So the um, platinum grade's direct shift six speed transmission provides responsive uh, acceleration thanks to Toyota's new hydraulic multi plate wet start clutch. A combination of technologies that work together to ensure enhanced acceleration, operation, and vehicle response. The six-speed automatic transmission also applies the assistance of the motor generator with, within the hybrid MAC system, uh, minimizing shift drop across the power band. The driver can also throw the shifter into fixed gear mode for paddle shifting for fun. So, um, yeah, this is a like i said game changer right guys there ain't there's no other car out here that has anything like this so i mean if you're thinking about anything else you need to stop and wait for this thing to come out before you make your decision i'm just saying right um the ecbt on the xle and limited grades uses a shift by wire system that shifts gears electronically providing a smart shift operation with a single action paired with the ths front and rear hybrid transaxle toyota crown toyota's the Toyota Crown's powertrain provides low fuel consumption and low noise. Um, aspects that manage fuel efficiency include an optimized gear ratio and a deceleration mechanism to reduce uh, gear engagement loss. So basically, that's uh, so as the gear goes in, I guess you don't don't lose any uh, acceleration there. So um, smooth operator, ready to ride. Here we go. So the Crown's built around a version of Toyota's new global architecture. TNGA has been around since 2018 in the Camry. That's when we really started seeing it as a production, of course. Um, but the, it's a built around a version of the TNGA K platform. By the way, the K platform is on a lot of the other ones. So the RAV4, the Camry, stuff like that. So it says it's built around a version of it. So it's not going to be the same thing exactly. But when you know the Corolla's on it, the Avalon's currently on it, the Highlander's on it, uh, RAV4, Camry. I mean, it's it's the, you know, that's really the anchor of all of those. So, um, but it's uh, underpins some of the company's sedans and crossovers. As such, the Crown delivers the best of both worlds. Sedan driving comfort, crossover like ride height. The Crown's overall height comes in at 60.6 .6 inches. So there's your overall height, right? 60.6 .6 inches compared to 56.9 for the Camry. Its overall length is 194. So keep in mind something else. So they immediately compared this to the Camry, all right? If you compare it to the Camry, you know what you're doing. So you're saying, saying all right, the Avalon's this, the Camry's this. So you're you're saying it's it's four inches longer than the Camry, which is something in, in my head. It's something similar to what the Avalon would be. So we're we're replacing the Avalon here, guys. But we're completely redoing it. So um, the width is seventy two point four inches. Wheelbase is one hundred twelve point two. The TNGA K platform also allows front strut and rear multi link suspension uh, tuning that helps for faster foster handling. Uh, agility while providing a supple quiet ride right platinum grade comes equipped with the standard adaptive variable suspension which is great um, they've been tuned to support the high output of the 2.4 liter turbo hybrid engine and the e-axle so um, the adaptive variable suspension uses variable oil pressure on sh uh, shock absorbers the system automatically controls friction within the absorbers when uh, turning controlling the dampening force reducing the pitch at high drive torque and minimizing the effects of bumpy roads. A linear solenoid type actuator is also equipped on the system to minimize body pitch and roll. Um, the, some of the other cars that have this, I tell you, when you take a turn, that turn, you do not feel the car roll at all. It's, it's really impressive. All right, so 
For all grades, they uh, developed a suspension system that provides comfortable maneuverability and relaxing ride. Uh, front suspension components include a McPherson strut, uh, type strut. Um, <coughs> excuse me. <clears throat> and a new method for fastening um, the steering gear, enabling a rigid direct handling um, or enabling rigid direct handling that also reduces noise and vibration. A newly developed multi-link rear suspension um, with higher rigidity helps to ensure a faster response to drive torque. Rear suspension arm placement was also optimized to suppress changes in the vertical posture, contributing to a flat driving feeling and enhanced texture. So the crown its handling is bolstered by electronically controlled brake system featuring active cornering assist, which is on some of the other cars. Once again, nothing new, um, but it's definitely it's going to be adapted to this. This is going to be really good, um, but it engages stability, the stability control to reduce understeer in certain cornering situations. Uh, so the driver feels enhanced agility. Um, not the system's operation. So the combination of the large diameter tires and the wheels help to give the crown its lift up style. The XLE and limited grades will be on a 19 inch multi-spoke two-tone two alloy wheels. The limited has an available 21 inch 10 spoke dark metallic alloy wheels, part of the advanced tech. And the platinum comes standard with a 21 inch machine 10 spoke alloy wheel with the black accents. So, um, yeah, we're, I mean, these things are going to be great. First class cabin, um, it'll be a standard eight-way power adjustable driver and front passenger seat. Uh, front seat adjustments will include the slide, recline, tilt, height adjustment, lumbar support is on the driver's seat here. So um, the rear seats uh, include ample cushioning and bolster support for the enjoyment. It's got standard heated front seats like we talked about. They can be adjusted to three levels, so, you know, low, medium, high, right? Um, limited platinum adds standard ventilated seats and heated rear seats. Um, the seats are not only comfortable, but stylish with the soft text and black woven fabric uh, seats on the XLE and the leather standard on the limited and platinum grades. <clears throat> so take a look at that, guys. You can see that interior with that 12-3 screen. That thing is going to be beautiful. And I can tell you right now, so I was mentioning that I thought that it was going to do the same thing that it did on the uh, on the Highlander. If you look here, can I take a look? This looks like the Grace Note system. And then this looks like it's saying something with the audio. Um, so one of the complaints people had on like the Highlander, and they're changing it this year, is that you had the climate control that would take one third of the screen. You could put it on one side, the other side, but you couldn't do the whole screen right? This one looks like you can. So um, I believe this is going to have the same system that the Highlander is going to have. And I would also bet something else is that this is most likely the bronze, but I could be wrong. But if you see these in, in these accents here, Toyota tends to do that type of thing with the bronze you see up here and then around the thing, they tend to do, they'll carry like the bronze type stuff on the inside down over here is bronze. So that might be the bronze look. So we'll find out. So dual climate control is standard for all grades, so no need to ask. Um, thin, attractive, illuminated control panel runs across the dashboard just below the multimedia screen with frequency is, uh, you, sorry, uh, with frequently <laughs> used functions placed on the lower row on the keyboard switches. So all crowns also have the 12.3 uh, color MID. So this right here is awesome too. So this came out in the Tundra. So the 12.3 color MID, that is, if you look over here, this is a, another 12.3 screen that is your uh, multi-informational display. That's where your instrument cluster is. So if it's standard on a 12.3, that is awesome. So drivers can select different displays with the push of a button, including hybrid system indicator, um, showing their system output, uh, regeneration status, encourage eco driving habits. Um, as used on other Toyota hybrid models and suggest the uh, optimal acceleration for eco driving. There you go. Here we go, guys. This is the 12.3 instrument cluster screen. So um, I'm kind of like just going over this with you guys. And, and this is uh, my first time reading this particular article, even though I've known some things about the crown for a while. So um, 
but uh, I haven't known everything and didn't know the hybrid part of it, but uh, I knew the crown was coming. Let's put it that way. Um, but you can see a little bit about what this looks like here. This is a amazing thing. I'll leave that a little bit up here so you can kind of take a peek there. But the crown and platinum limited grades have a standard panoramic moonroof like we talked about already. Um, in cabin LED lighting for a premium feel, illumination out of consideration for visibility and op and operability includes overhead uh front and rear footwell lighting and cup holders usb ports door uh and door handles also receive lit accents um so it, the drivers actually sorry put this back down here for you uh driver and passengers plugged in when it comes sorry his driver and passengers plugged in when it comes to charging devices on the driver's side a vertical type wireless key wireless charging um, with enhanced space efficiency comes standard. There's also a standard USB type A and a 12 volt charging port inside the console. Uh, a separate dual USB type C terminal is also standard on the passenger side with an insertion port intentionally pointing to the passenger seat. For rear seat passengers, two USB type C ports are standard. To aid in outward visibility, the platinum grade comes standard with bird's eye view um, and with the perimeter scan, which provides a panoramic overhead view of the vehicle surrounding. It's also available as an option with the tech package on the limited grade. So it won't be on the XLE guys. Uh, the standard backup camera features projected path and dynamic grid lines for additional convenience. Limited and platinum come standard with a smart key system on all four doors. That means that you can grab all the four doors and open or lock the cars uh, just by grabbing the door system. So uh, for customers who see, seek a premium experience in a vehicle, keeping unwanted noise out was paramount. So the 2023 Crown's cabin brings a that priority home. So it's, it's looking to be quiet I don't think this thing's going to have any of the, the canned sounds that some people always talk about on some of the other cars that they don't like that it's uh, fake sounds, whatever you call it. Um, but rather than simply aiming at numbers goal for sound levels, um, Toyota engineers created a calm atmosphere conductive to enjoying an easy conversation or hearing music in a cleaner detail. If you have the JBL system, it's really nice when you have that concert quality sound and uh uh, you can sing to it. Nobody hears you. Um, so, so the high strength TNGAK platform is the first defense against noise. Um, that that platform has been known for for helping to do that for a while, of course. So um, curves vibration through the steering, the floor, the structure. Um, the suspension tuning resists road surface disturbances, tire noise. Um, and it's also insulated, of course. So um, acoustic glass. You know, it's going to, you know, help with that. I mean, there's a lot of cars that have acoustic glass now. Um, body sealing materials are placed throughout the structure. You know, they seal any gaps, things like that. Um, under the carpeting, above the headliner materials, um, their placement were optimized to minimize noise in the frequency, uh, in the frequencies that typically interfere with conversation. So they're not just looking for all noise. They're basically the noise that, that bothers you. Um, so as one example, a sound absorbing pad is placed between the engine bay and the cabin to reduce rodent and engine noise. The engineers undertook an extensive analysis of noise transmission paths and filled spaces around the doors, frames, window opening, and wiring harnesses for enhanced cabin quietness. Even the in, uh, inner rocker and bulkhead are connected with adhesive for maximum noise control. So um, things that didn't need to have adhesive will have it. So boom, there it is, guys. Oh, I love it. The full map. Like I said, I haven't seen these pictures yet. So this is something that's new, but there's the full map on the 12.3 screen. You got it in the crown. So um, no complaining. It's not allowed anymore, just so you know. So you can see how this looks. Look at this thing. So that screen and you've got the, oh, man, this is, this is beautiful. Plus you've got all your AC controls in that down here. Um, I've known a lot of people have complained about some of the, like the Prius and that, when it has the huge screen on there that you don't have the AC controls, you've got them right there, guys. Um, I can see programmable seats over here. This is, this is good, guys. So the new multimedia. 12.3 screen offers improved user experience, um, including being over the air updatable. That is something that's good. So as updates need, you don't need to bring it into the uh, dealership. 
in order to get most of the updates. You can get some of them over the air. So um, it's not 100%. I'll tell you that. It's not 100%, but you can get most of them that way. Um, users can interact with the new system um, designed through touch and voice activation, um, which this started with the Tundra. So it's got an intelligent assist. You can say, hey, Toyota, it'll awaken it. Um, most people are used to that with uh, some of the stuff in our house, of course. Um, but you can find points of interest, all kinds of stuff, and you can just, just turn it on, right? Um, Cloud-based navigation system uh, offered through Drive Connect allows for real-time over-the-air updates for mapping points of interest. Google POI data um, integrated. Uh, it, all that's integrated to ensure an up-to-date search capability. So you're not going to find a closed business because you have a two-year-old map. All right, so the XLE is a six-speaker sound system and enables a clean, powerful sound for all types of music. Um, and then you have the 11-speaker JBL system that has the subwoofer power, powered by an eight-channel amplifier that was acoustically tuned for the Toyota Crown um, and to match the unique vehicle characteristics. Man, look at that map, guys. And this is a better look here, too. you got your heated seats. This is your... Uh, cooled seat or auto. There's your dual climate control. Um, this, let me see. You've got this is your mode right here. This is your fan speed. Um, this kind of looks like a steering wheel, like a heated steering wheel almost. Um, but it's kind of hard to see what that is right there. But uh, um, I'm sure we'll talk as we go down there. But there are defrosters there. That's your uh, heated outside mirrors and back window. Um, that should be off for everything. Sync, so both sides sync. That'll turn off your back seat. This is, you know, passenger side cooled, passenger side heated. AC and recirc is all right there. So, um, and then this should be your power button for your screen right there, in case you're wondering what that is. But beautiful. So, um, just showed you everything. Don't forget any of this, right? Um, but, you know, <laughs> so this is something else that's going to be great. Support for wireless Android Auto and wireless Apple CarPlay. You guys have been begging for that on Toyotas for a while. Uh, the Tundra got it first um, with one caveat for the Supra, so don't call me out on that, but I'm um, talking, you know, for what we most, most of what we would look at, but the Tundra got first wireless, the uh, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, right? And now we're, we're coming into some of these other ones. I know the Highlander is going to get it coming up to uh, as well. So this same system is going to be on the Highlander. So, um, Wi-Fi Connect subscription for 4G connectivity for up to f uh, five devices. Um, HD radio, USB, you know, you're going to have Sirius XM. Toyota has a really good partnership with Sirius. Uh, you'll get three months free with them. So um, I don't think there's any vehicles that Toyota builds that doesn't have a Sirius XM on it. Um, Wi-Fi Connect. Um, and then you can actually have a ability to link for Apple Music and Amazon Music. Uh, subscriptions for your onboard control. So um, it also offers connected services. So Safety Connect, you got a one-year trial. Um, after, I, I believe they're keeping the prices the same on that one. So it should be 80 bucks a year or $8 a month after that one year. Um, that's your SOS button. Uh, roadside assistance, automatic collision notification, stolen vehicle locator. Um, now you also get Service Connect with a three-year trial, trial that will connect directly to the dealership. If your maintenance is due, if you have a check engine light on, something like that, you can get health reports, maintenance alerts, you can get all kinds of stuff from that. Um, that's really good. So here's what I wanted to read. A digital key is offered on a Platinum as a part of the advanced technology package on the, uh, an advanced technology package on the Limited. So the Platinum and on the advanced tech package on the Limited with an active remote connect uh, subscription drivers can use a digital key via the Toyota app and allow passive entry to unlock um, the front doors in the trunk or push start using your smartphone as a key, guys. Smartphone as a key. This is great, right? So you guys, if if you need an extra key, there you go. So the digital key also provides the ability to share keys with friends and family. Beautiful. Now don't worry about your kids losing your keys, right? So standard on the Platinum grade is Toyota's advanced park system. Uh, it, the sensors identify open parking space. Then control steering, shifting, acceleration, and braking for hands-free parallel or reverse forward perpendicular parking. Holy cow. <laughs> this is new. So Toyota's had park assist on the Prius before but um, and, and currently, but this is different. So 
the the one on the Prius, you have to hit the brakes. Uh, you have to, you know, shift it. You have to do everything. But this is, says sensors identify an open parking space right here and then control steering, shifting, acceleration, and braking for hands-free parallel or reverse forward perpendicular parking. Wow, guys. This is... Okay. Yeah, it, it's game changing, right? <laughs> Once again, right? It's game changing. So, all the crowns come standard with 3.0. Um, it's include enhancements made possible by the sensors. Uh, pre collision system with pedestrian detection is capable of detecting motorcyclists and guardrails in certain conditions. Um, so, it's even better than it used to be. When making a turn or approaching an intersection, it will detect certain forward or laterally approaching vehicles to provide audio and visual alerts and automatic braking in certain conditions, like you're about to get T-boned. Um, dynamic radar cruise control, improved lane recognition, delivers a refined performance. The lane departure alert with steering assist and lane tracing while you're in the uh, dynamic radar cruise control. Um, steering assist, so you have audio... Audible and visual alerts, slight steering force if it senses the vehicle leaving the lane without engaging the turn signal. Um, this system's been around for a while, but they, they keep enhancing it. So it's it's really cool that they keep doing that for us. So um, automatic high beams, of course, the rear seat reminder. If you've opened the back door and shut the back door, rear seat reminder will engage. You should be able to shut that off if you want to for any reason. Um, it will also, it says, so in addition to the TSS, it, other standard safety feature will include blind spot monitors. Some people say, well, why is that not in the regular safety system? Because it's technically a convenience item. It's not actually a safety item. So um, that's how they classify it. So there's your answer. Uh, argue how you want to, but there's your answer. So, um, but it's designed to help detect and warn you of vehicles approaching or positioned in the adjacent lanes, rear cross traffic alert. If you're about to back into something, it's going to alert you something's behind there. Um, you also have hill start control. Um, going a little bit quicker here now for you because for you, we're through some of this meat here. So um, one-year trial subscription of Safety Connect. Um, we already talked about that. Um, Three-year, 36,000 miles. So Toyota's normal warranties. Um, do want to note this here, all right? So this is going to be um, important. So the hybrid related components that require repairs needed to correct defects in materials workmanship are covered for eight years, 100,000 miles, whichever comes first, of course. The hybrid battery is covered for 10 years, 150,000 miles, whichever comes first, and is obviously fully transferable, of course. Um, and it also comes with Toyota Care which is a complimentary plan that covers normal factory scheduled maintenance for two years or 25,000 miles, whichever comes first, um, as long as you are not in one particular region in the Southeast. So, um, but that is included as long as you're not in that uh, particular region where they do charge for it. So, uh, but most of the times you're going to find out that that is included. So, wow, made it through it all guys. So, um, but yeah, Take a look at, I'm going to scroll back through some of these here. I know I'm just zipping through. So there's your, your first picture. I mean, man, this thing is going to be beautiful. So, well, there it is, guys. What do you think? The all new Toyota crown. It's coming, guys. It, I think it's going to be a game changer. I think you guys are really going to like it. Like I said, especially you guys that were uh, upset about the Avalon going away. I, I think this is going to be something that you should be excited about. So, um, but let me know what you think. Definitely put it down in the comments. Think it's going to be a game changer for Toyota. I think it's going to sell really well. Um, what do you guys think? So, um, look forward to hearing those comments. Definitely like, subscribe. Appreciate everyone of you guys. We'll see you next time. Uh, Steve Welch, Beeman Toyota. Have a beautiful day. We'll talk to you soon. GoPro, stop recording.